Howdy y'all, welcome back to Zeman Outdoors. I'm excited, it is Thanksgiving week. I have the whole week off and it's Friday afternoon about 1.30, 2 o'clock. Um, I'm out in Hondo in West Texas and I am at a buddy's property. And personally, I'm gonna be doing a little doe management. Probably we'll see a couple doe and, and try and take one of them. And my buddy's probably gonna try and take another buck this year. So I'm excited, we'll be out here for the weekend and I'm packing back up and I am heading out to our property in Oklahoma where I'm gonna hunt a few days. Been seeing quite a bit of buck activity, so hopefully that keeps up. And then I'm hanging out with my family, doing a little work around my brother's house in Fort Worth and then headed back. So it's good to be uh, off from work and relax a little bit and get out and hunt. Hope you all enjoy this video. So I beat my friend here by about a couple hours so I'm gonna actually take the four-wheeler out there and go corn around the feeders. It's kind of interesting. Uh, the deer here don't really seem to care about the noise of the four-wheeler. The last couple of years, we would just drive by them in this and they'd just stare at us as we drove by. So they don't seem to care. And I'm gonna go out and do some corning and then we'll come back. I may pick up some firewood for a fire tonight and then I will see you on the stand tonight. So I literally just got to the blind and I already have two dough. Uh, made that three dough out of the feeder. Um, I'm gonna wait a little bit. I don't wanna take a shot this early. I don't wanna spook anything. Buddy Travis back there. So we'll see how long they hang out around here. It's only four o'clock, so I've got about an hour and a half still, maybe even two hours of legal shooting light. So I'll keep you posted. I don't know if they'll swing back around and, and come back to the feeder. If not, uh, I may get another chance tomorrow morning or tomorrow night. But like I said, I still have two hours left. So plenty of time for something else to show up. So it's been another 25, 30 minutes, and I now have five, five dough out here. The feeder still hasn't gone off. I don't necessarily want to wait too long, but I kind of want to see what else shows up. But there's only one dough that looks big enough that, uh, that I would shoot, so I may give it another 20, 30 minutes and let the feeder go off and see if anything else shows up. All right. So something just spooked the doe. I have four doe, like literally right below me. And it all just showed up at the feeder. I do have a suppressor on my gun, but I know these deer will spook. I'm really torn right now, but I really want to take a shot at that hog. I think that's what I'm gonna do and hope that these deer will come back tomorrow. So we'll see how this goes. I assume he's gonna be dead back over here behind me in that brush, but he was all an ass. I still have like three doe. They, these deer out here 
just don't care about anything. Well, we'll see how the rest of the day goes and see if I can go find that hawk later tonight. Alright, so I just had three hawks come across this draw right here and show up at the feeder. smaller and there was a bigger mama hawk and I waited and the hawks kind of got side by side I was hoping I could shoot both of them at the same time it was really hard to tell on the video if I hit them they weren't running fast like they got hit so I I don't know I may have been a tad bit high on that one but get this that deer that was there eating when I shot at those hawks is already freaking back there eating again. They really just don't care at all. <laughs> it's crazy. Alright, so it's the next morning. And I literally just got in the blind. And right at shooting light, I had three doe. They were really hard to see in the binoculars. But three doe pop out over here to my right. And then what looked like a buck chase them off. And now I've seen a point come in. I've seen about two or three fawns. This eight point still sitting right here. And then I look down at the feeder and there's an eight point and it's hard to tell if there's something else. It looks like maybe that four point that I saw early is at the feeder now too. So I mean, we're not even 30, 45 minutes into this hunt. I'm covered up in deer. So far, I haven't seen a mature doe yet, so hopefully one of those pops up and I can uh, take a shot. Just a quick update, this morning was very active, saw quite a few bugs. After that we went and tried to track that hog from last night. Tracked blood for about 200, 250 yards and lost the track. So we just ended up giving up on that one. Um, can't imagine he's alive, but uh, unfortunately I couldn't find him. So I'm back up in the same blind, got here probably five minutes ago, and I already have a doe at the feeder. Um, doesn't look to be a mature doe, but it, it's still pretty early, it's only 3.15, so I've got about three hours of legal shooting light left, so we'll see if anything else pops up. Five 
yards away and I was getting set up I repositioned the camera and as soon as I was about to take the safety off she blew and took off so uh, not sure if they're gonna come back that may be that may be it for me but we'll see if anything else shows up I still have probably an hour or so my buddy's at the other blind and he thinks his target buck is there so hopefully I hear a gunshot soon Well, didn't expect that. I could see down this draw that hogs were coming in. So I got my gun and everything ready. Sure enough, three or four hogs came in. I sat there, didn't really get a good shot. Took me a little bit to finally get a comfortable shot and I took one. I thought I hit that big one. I heard it scream, yelp, whine, whatever you call it. But didn't see any blood when it walked down there. Um, and then that small one was coming back and, uh, put a perfect shot on that one and knocked it down. So at least I got one of them. I do think I, I thought I put a good shot on that big one, but couldn't find any blood. So I'll do a little tracking and see if I can find it. I'll go watch the video back too, but that was exciting. So I'm editing this video and I realized that I did not have an exit interview. So I just wanted to follow up on a couple things. My buddy did see his target buck. However, he never popped out for a good shot. So unfortunately, he did not get to take a shot this weekend. And all I got was that one hog. We did not see anything else. Unfortunately, we were not able to find the first hog that I shot. But all in all, it was a, a pretty fun weekend. We really enjoyed it. I love being out there with my buddies and hunting, so can't complain about that. We ended up packing up the next morning, and I headed to our Oklahoma property where I was hunting a doe out there. That video will be coming next, so stay tuned, and I hope you all enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching.